at the end of the street is the British Embassy. Um, there were times when uh, you could go to, the embassy. there's a pub in the, in the basement of the Embassy, and sometimes uh, we would go there. If there was some special church event or something, then afterwards we'd go there. They also had Christmas parties there. It was nice. It was just an English pub in the basement of the embassy. I don't think it's so easy to get into it now. I'm not sure if any of my uh, other videos survived. Because, you know, there was a, when I, um, what was it, 2008? Or, yeah, I think it was 2008 where I just deleted like 60, 65 videos, I think, 66 videos. So I don't know what was lost. And you delete, you delete them from YouTube, unless they're on your hard drive, they're lost and I can't find them. Uh, those videos are all lost forever, as far as I can tell. But every Sunday, I used to come here. Now it's, it's different. This is the Anglican Cathedral. And I used to come here every Sunday. Even when I lived far away, I came here every Sunday. Either by bus or train. I was a faithful believer. I, I think people find that hard to accept. That's how you got into the English service. There's an undercroft here, and in the undercroft is, is a chapel, and that's how you, you got into the undercroft for the English worship. It's an impressive building, outside and inside. It's very nicely done. This operated as our uh, fellowship hall. Okay, that's the door that was to the outside that I showed you how we used to come in. Come in here. So, holy water. And uh, that's the priest's vesting room there. This is not new, but they got it after I started coming here. I started coming here in 1997. And here is the sanctuary. tabernacle with the reserved host. And I have celebrated and led the Eucharist from this altar one time. It was probably technically illegal or I mean against church policy for me to have celebrated, led the Eucharistic celebration, but they had no priest. And I have been ordained an Anglican priest. So I was, they knew that, everybody knew the situation, so I wasn't pulling the wool over anybody's eyes. I was, I was the next best thing they had. 
so. Of course I miss the life of the church. When you grow up in a culture, it's hard to get it out of your system. I'll tell you where I was sitting when I left the church. I was sitting in this row. I think I was the second chair from the end. And we were saying the Nicene Creed. Of course, you stand during the Nicene Creed. And I stopped and I listened to it. Everybody was saying it. And I just listened. And then I, I had my bag and some things sitting on the chair next to me. And I picked up my things. And while everyone was saying the Nicene Creed, I walked out that door. <laughs>